Hi everybody, this is Lainey at Hilltop Home Place. I wanted to do this video. It's been on my mind a while and I actually sat in my garden one night and I filmed this video on this topic, but I just wasn't ready, I guess, to put it out there. <laughs> so I ended up just deleting it, but I'm gonna film it again today because actually it still stayed on my mind and it's becoming more and more of a concern to me. So I thought I'm just gonna throw my thoughts out there Y'all decide what you think, what your input is, whether it's something that bothers you or not. It may just be water off a duck's back to a lot of people. But I wanted to throw out the issue that I have noticed a whole lot lately of really nasty, ugly comments on a lot of people's videos. I have been blessed. I don't get that many on mine. I do remove a comment every now and then if I feel like it's just inappropriate, just from an interloper that's come across my video or something, and the comment has nothing to do with anything, um, I'll take it off because I'm just not going to have all that messing up my feed. But what I'm referring to right now is not comments on my channel. I've been pretty blessed with that. My thoughts are about the ugly, ugly, mean-spirited, unchristian-like comments I see on other people's channels. I watch a good many channels on YouTube. I don't watch the TV anymore. I really don't watch it. My husband has it on things when he's inside. I don't watch it. I pretty much do my work around the house to either nothing or I put on my phone, put my phone in my pocket and listen to a video while I'm doing work during the day. And so I, I do watch a lot of different channels. I try to subscribe to good channels, people that I feel will bring me up in this world and not hold me down. So I don't subscribe to a lot of riffraff channels or a lot of sensationalized channels where everything's just, you know, drama, drama, drama. I just don't, I can't deal with a lot of that in my life anymore. I have to kind of, I call it kind of maintaining a certain level of peace in my life. I have to kind of keep a peaceful spirit about me so that I can get through every day without getting worn out, tired, or just mentally drug out and everything. And so I try to subscribe to channels that I feel, you know, help bring me up. I feel like if, if we all work together on things and we share different things with homesteading and all, we all bring each other up. So this is where it hurts though. It hurts me when I see good channels like this, big channels, and small channels. It, it doesn't seem to matter, but mostly the big channels take it on the chin a whole lot more than the small channels, but there's still a lot of it. But it hurts me when I see comments get put in their comment section that are so cruel. Some of them are just cruel, and I'm not going to sugarcoat this. Some of them are very, very cruel, and I've noticed it a whole lot lately. Let me back up and say Years ago, I had Twitter. Um, I used to do Facebook and things. I kind of noticed, uh, especially on Twitter, that this was prevalent. You know, you, you would just say anything and next thing you know, you, you could be attacked by all kinds of people. You don't even know, they don't, they don't follow you or anything and they just go at you. That's kind of a, a Twitter thing though. Uh, you either like it or you don't. You're either able to handle it and hang in there with Twitter or not. I don't. I got off of Twitter a while back and I do not miss it. Um, every now and then I kind of want to maybe keep up with things a little better than I do, but it's not worth it to me to go back to that venue. So I haven't done it. On YouTube, yes, people can be cruel, but normally uh, I say, I, th I think, I guess I'm going to say this because I think this, a lot of times when your video goes out and your notification goes out that you posted a video, a lot of the people that jump on there and watch it do follow your channel. Some of these channels that are the larger channels, I call them, have 400 to 600 to a million subscribers. And so most of the people that go watch their videos probably are subscribers. I know not all are, but probably are. So someone has taken the time, I guess, to subscribe to some of these channels. They get the notifications that the videos come out. And then I don't even know if they really watch it to really get anything out of it. They just watch it to start jabbing. Is this bots? Is it trolls who are just doing this every day for kicks? I don't know, but when I read, uh, when I click on the comments and I start reading some of the things sometimes, a couple of things happen. First of all, it breaks my heart because I know that if the people that run the channels 
are looking at those comments, it's got to hurt. And number two, I get angry sometimes. And I kind of want to pop back on there to that ugly commenter. And I want to say something back to them. Or you Shame on you, <laughs> that, that kind of a tone. Shame on you for putting this. And how dare you talk to these people like this? And I don't. But I, I have got on there before. And I, I try to think before I comment. And that's why I have this little paper in my hand. I thought I would just ask some questions and maybe just throw some things out there not to memorize not to just you know you may forget it five minutes after i say things but to just try to make people think a little bit before they comment and you can't do anything about the people that are making the ugly comments but it'll help you maybe think before you react back to them so sometimes i have typed my feelings and my agitation at people and then I always try to reread a comment before I hit send because mostly because my phone changes things. My phone decides that what I typed is not really what I meant and it'll change it to a whole different word. And so I never hit send without rereading things. I'm sure your phones do the same. So I don't hit send without rereading things. And when I do reread it, I realize that yes, those people are being ugly, but if I send a scathing comment back I'm really not being much better and then not only does the person who owns the channel get to read their ugly comment but then they get to see a fight getting started you know if I if you say something ugly back to them so it's and you don't win because the person that made the ugly comment has no regard for anyone so all they're gonna do is shoot something back really ugly to you so most of the time I end up just deleting it I get it out of my system by typing it and then I just delete it and so a lot of times I don't put anything. I did put something a couple of days ago. I'm trying to be humble with this and I'm trying to just tell you the truth because I don't want you to think I, I'm just perfect and I, I never send anything. The other day, um, somebody said something, um, one of the big channels that I noticed this is happening on right now. And if you ever want to get in the comments, you'll see what I'm talking about is on Justin Rhodes's channel. And this person uh, just took them to task about just how boring they are and, you know, on and on and on and on. Well, of course, you look at this person's profile. They've got no subscribers, no videos. They're just there. They're out there just commenting and they're not doing anything. So um, I forget what his name was, but I said, uh, Kirby, I think. <laughs> so I said, well, uh, hey, Curb. <laughs> I just, I said, um, why don't you post some videos? and put your life out there and let everybody see it and be able to comment on it. I said, lay it all out there, Curb. I was kind of being a little smart aleck. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of being a little smart aleck. <laughs> but it hit me wrong how ugly he was being because I'm a content creator. And when you put things out there and you're opening yourself up, you're, you're exposing yourself to judgment, which is not easy, um, sometimes you just don't get views because it wasn't interesting, didn't have a good thumbnail or whatever. You, everything you do when you do create content, you're opening yourself up for just boring people, <laughs> for them having ugly comments. You never know what you're going to get. Um, you're opening yourself up for criticism. You're opening yourself up for personal opinions about you or your looks or um, just somebody telling you, you look tired. You know, well, you thought you went on there looking decent. <laughs> then you find out you look tired. And so you're opening yourself up in all these different ways. And then some of the people commenting these things on some of these channels have no nothing to lose. They have no videos, they have no subscribers. So that kind of hit me wrong the other day and I did make that comment back to him. You know, why don't you lay it all out there? Why don't you do something? And um, I don't really like it when I do that, though. I don't. I, that's not really who I want to be. That's not who I am. And so I told myself, you know, you just need to realize that it's really not up to me to say anything back to any of these people. If I were the owner of those channels, if I was Justin Rhodes, <laughs> If I was Becky at Acre Homestead, if I was, a lot of these other people who get some of these sardonic, ugly comments, I would probably block the people and never let them be on my feed anymore. They don't tend to do that that I know of, um, I guess. And I guess Justin has built up thick skin over the years. He's got a million subscribers. He's built up some thick skin, but 
I don't know. I think I would get rid of these people. If you watch some of the channels like Justin Rhodes or Roots and Refuge or the Holler Homestead or any of those channels like that, uh, Brief from Scratch, you know, they, they have their children on there sometimes. They do family projects and a lot of things like that. The wives show their cooking, um, all kind of things. And so when you see a video that's, that's good, just given all kind of information and content, and then you look down in their comments and you see some of these horrid things that are going after the wife or um, this, this happens a lot on the Rhodes' channel. They are just attacking the wife um, and then it'll have 30 or 40 likes on that comment. That, that's weird, you know, that 30 or 40 people would like an ugly comment like that on, on a channel that's trying to put out such information and such good content. A lot of people wouldn't know how to do a lot of stuff if they had Justin Rhodes not really promoted it and showed them and done a lot of how-tos and everything. Um, but they're showing their lives and they have children. And maybe he doesn't read the first comment. Maybe the big uh, head of the family and all these channels doesn't really read the comments. Maybe, maybe they don't. And maybe it is water off a duck's back for them. But you never know if their children on their own phones or devices Go look at the comments and for children to read some of the things like this that's what bothers me that's what bothers me that some of these people are allowed to keep commenting um, almost what do they call that when it's cyber stalking I think that's the word I'm looking for it's almost like the same people just go to every video that's posted by these channels and go at them and go at them and go at them and so they don't care how their words land. They don't care who they're hurting. They don't care if the wife is, is hurt by it. They don't care if the kids are hurt by it. It's just something they feel they have to do. And I wanna say this before I get to my little talking points. If you are in the gardening world, the homesteading world, the seed saving world, whatever it is, chickens, cows, whatever it is that made you go follow certain channels, that are in this genre, you know, um, whatever made you follow these channels and whatever brought you in to feeling like you had a common um, bond with any of these channels to subscribe to them, you are not a good person if you comment things like that on those channels. If you're out there trying to do your own little homesteading thing and you're over here attacking other homesteaders I don't think that's a good thing and I don't respect you and I doubt you have a whole whole lot of friends out there in your little homesteading area that really are close with you and things because it takes a, a warped mind I think to say some of the things these people are saying on there and I, I wonder I really truly wonder are they really trying to garden are they really trying to do animals are they really trying to can and put up food because when you do do all those things, you know how hard it must be for somebody to do it on camera while filming. <laughs> There's a lot of things I could probably show y'all, but because of time constraints, I just have to get it done. But these people show a lot more and in, invade their lives a lot more than I do to show things and to film each step of something so they can give you a how-to and I don't think other people who do that um, would go after them the way these people tend to go after them. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you do something, when you garden, you know how hot it can get. You know how sometimes you can mess up your seed starting or the weather gets your plants. You know, you know all these things. So you don't tend to attack other people because I doubt very seriously you've had a 100% beautiful, great garden that's bumper crops year after year after year after year. No, you know there's things that crop up. You know there's life that happens. So you don't tend to attack other people. But these types of people do. So I question, I'm just gonna tell you, if you are out there and you are commenting ugly things about their homes, about the way they do a chore, about how they cook, about how lazy you think they are when you don't have any videos, any subscribers, when 
I don't even know if you're doing this same stuff at your house, because I think if you were, you would have compassion for the fact that they can do all this and still have time to give this information to you. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy canning, harvesting, homesteading. I don't even have animals and, and I don't have a lot of time. This heat is so hot right now that a lot of things are just not getting done because I can't get to them. You know why I haven't filmed a lot? Because I can't get to them. A lot of people that with the bigger channels though, they go on out and film because that's, that's kind of their job and they do it. So don't knock them for it. I'm not gonna knock them for it, especially when I'm sitting inside during the day because it's 98 degrees outside and I can't get out there and work. I'm certainly not gonna use that time to look on YouTube and insult everybody else who's out there doing something. <laughs> I'm just not gonna do it. So if you are a homesteader that does that, I don't respect you. I don't respect you at all if you make comments like that to other homesteaders. That's just my opinion. I was just gonna say a few little comments that I have to make about comments. <laughs> if you are getting ready to comment on a video, I'm not talking about to fight back with an ugly person. I'm just saying, if you are fixing to comment on any video about anything, anybody you follow, any video you come across where you're inspired to say something, ask yourself a few questions just quickly, quickly and mentally before you comment, because it can, it can make a big difference in, I guess, how they handle it when they get your comment. You might think the comment is fine that you're commenting something really nice and, and you have no intention of it being ugly at all. That's good. <laughs> That's great. But reread it before you hit send. Number one, as I said, my phone, I got an iPhone, and it sometimes it will change. I'll type one word and it'll turn it into two or three words that I did not type. So before you hit send, always kind of reread it to make sure that the words you intended to say are actually what get on there. Because a do can be changed to a don't, a can to a can't, <laughs> uh, a love can be changed to a, a look, you know, it can, it can be changed to something completely different than what you meant to say. So they might read it and go, I have no idea what this person's talking about, or it might change it in such a way that they say, well, <laughs> that was ugly. Always reread it first and think to yourself, should I even make this comment? Ask yourself, what am I trying to achieve by making this comment? If you're making the comment to encourage that other person on that other channel, then by all means make it. We love to get comments on our channel. We love to get comments. Uh, it keeps that algorithm everybody talks about. It keeps that going and hopefully pushes your videos out there the more comments you receive. So getting comments is a good thing. I, I love getting comments, but how is that person, the, the channel owner, going to receive what it is you wrote? Um, if it's encouraging, that's wonderful. That's great. Just reread through it first to make sure that it actually, what you hit send before you hit the send button, that that's what your words are actually conveying. And so um, I think a lot of people sometimes type things very quickly and it might be fine on your end as far as just how you feel, like what you're saying is okay. But sometimes words are left out or a thought is put in there so quickly that on the other end, the person getting it just, it's like an incomplete thought to them or something. And, and they, you just put back, you know, thanks for commenting or something or like the comment and you don't really even know what they were trying to say. So just think about that before you comment. Um, and this is about the same thing, but a little bit different. What is my intended tone? Is it a tone of encouragement? Fine. Is it a tone of, oh, you said something in your video and I want to, um, let you know how I think you might could handle this or what that might be. Some, um, somebody said on a video today, I don't know what this animal is. And a bunch of people jumped on there and said, oh, that's a so-and-so. You're helpful. You're trying to be helpful. But just make sure your tone is saying, I'm just trying to be helpful. Oh, you, you said you didn't know what that animal was. That's a so-and-so, you know, it confused me before. You know, just kind of make sure your helpfulness is coming across as that. 
um, a lady on one of the Holler Homestead videos one day, uh, they planted their corn in the, in the hill part of the row and not in the valley part of the row. I did the same thing when I used to plant corn. I would plant it in the, I would hill up dirt and I'd plant it in the hills. I didn't know any different. And then big winds would come along, my corn would fall over. And one of my friends who's grown corn a long time said, oh no, he said, do your rows and your hills. He said, but plant it in the bottom part of your rows and use that hill dirt to hill over the roots at you know, some point called hilling up corn. And he said, um, that way your, your roots grow into solid ground. He said, if your roots just grow into the loose dirt of the hill, you, that's why they're falling over whenever it rains. Ever since I've been doing that, my corn's been doing great. But somebody told the hollers on that channel one day, um, hun, when you start a sentence with hun, hun, I don't know if you realize it, but you're not supposed to be planning it that way. Well, that's how I took it. That's the tone I took it when I read the comment. When you start it with hun, to me, you're kind of being condescending. The person that typed it may have thought they were being helpful, but reread what you're putting because a grown man <laughs> with six kids watching him do all this stuff and a wife doesn't want to be called hun and condescended to in a comment. And I doubt that comment got a like or a response. That's just an example I'm using, but the tone of your comment, the tone might be what sets people off sometimes. Certainly the tone of some of these comments that I've been talking about where people have been really, really ugly, that tone is not good and very upsetting. So if you're typing something with the intention of hurting someone, your tone is not good. Delete the comment. Just let it go. I'm fighting a losing battle because I know there's bots and trolls out there and there's just people that are just plain mean that are just going to say what they're going to say. But you're doing no one any good. You're not changing people. You're not encouraging people. You're not teaching anybody anything. You're not leaving a mark on this world that means anything when you make ugly, ugly comments with a bad tone. So just think about it first. Think about how the person getting that comment is going to receive it. And if your intention is for them to receive it and be hurt, then there's something wrong with you. There's just something wrong with you. If you're making any kind of comment to anyone about anything with the intention of hurting them, there's something wrong with you. You need the comment <laughs> to be boomeranged right back at you. You are the problem. There is no love for a fellow human being when you send out something with the intent to hurt them. You're not loving your fellow human being. You're not loving God when you do that because God would not want you to do that. You're just simply self-serving yourself by getting this little snicker off of your, your chest and shooting some back at somebody. What good does that do you? What good does that really do you? I'm curious, if you're an ugly commenter and you put a lot of things in people's feeds that are ugly, put in my notes here and tell me how does that make your life better? I would be curious to know. I don't think it does. I don't think it makes you better and I don't think you probably have a lot of friends. I already kind of said this one while I was talking. Number three was to evaluate and reread before hitting the send button. And pretty much um, this one could be combined to what do I hope to achieve? I just kind of said that extemporaneously by saying, if your hope is to achieve hurt, shame on you. If it's to encourage, by all means, send it because everyone needs some encouragement, even the big channels. They need to know that you're listening. They need to know that you care. And um, every content creator needs that affirmation. I don't care how thick skinned they are, how long they've been doing it. They do need the affirmation that their content means something to you. So always encouraging comments are good. And number five, did I wonder how I'd feel if I got that comment? That's what I need to make sure that I see about Laney on. Before I comment, I need to make sure that 
I, if it's just a comment I would want to get back if I said something. Even if I accidentally, because I didn't check my tone or my words, <laughs> even if I accidentally sent something very, um, that was taken wrong by a content creator and someone took what I said wrong and they shot something back ugly to me, how would I want to, you know, would I want to receive that? <laughs> it's just like two uglies don't make a right. You know, two uglies don't make a right. I would never send an ugly comment to a content creator, but if I did, and then I started getting arrows shot back at me, I think it would make me feel alienated. It would make me feel like other subscribers jumped on me. They took what I said wrong. It would make me hurt and angry. And I don't think that that's a good thing either. I think if somebody has said something ugly and it hurts your feelings for that content creator, you, you, you get defensive and you want to take up for that person or that family. You want to let these people know, look, kids might be reading this. Don't say those things. There is ways you can comment that may be helpful rather than hurtful. Hurting the person that sent the comment is not necessarily helping the situation. But just saying something, not like I did the other day, like, will not you just do it, lay it all out there. That, that, that didn't help anything. But if you just said something about, yeah, it, it's hard sometimes, you know, they're doing their best. I don't know. If you just absolutely have to comment, maybe just something generic that doesn't say, I'm coming at you. <laughs> I'm coming back at you. You know, that just kind of says, they're a good family. They're doing their best. Maybe something like that. Um, cause, cause that might help diffuse if, if 30 people liked that ugly comment, but what they, what that ugly commenter is getting back is kind of brotherly love from people saying, hey dude, you know, kind of chill out. This family's trying, these are good people. Um, that might diffuse the situation. So I'm not preaching to the people that comment on my channel. I've got some good people and I appreciate all of y'all. I guess I've been scandalized a little bit by what I've seen on a lot of other channels and it hurts me that they can be hurt by it and maybe this little bitty video here will just go out into the world to tell people to calm down and to try to be kind because kindness can diffuse a lot of situations and to think about how your comment might land and if, if you think it's going to land in a way that hurts anybody don't make it. Just don't make it. This is Laney at Hilltop Home Place. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Thank y'all so much for listening to me. Bye-bye.